just before the break, you actually lied to committee. And you did it for partisan purposes. You did it so that Justin Trudeau and his buddy Tom Clark would look good. Point of order. Take a short uh, suspension. Mr. Kuzmirchuk from Sunny Windsor. Go ahead, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Mr. Kuzno, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I just wanted to have a, a sort of a quick response so I can get through them. I just wanted to ask you, all procedures uh, for procurement how were followed. So this was done by the book. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, absolutely. We have followed all the policy from Treasury Board, all the internal guidelines from, uh, from, from GAC. So all Thank the process you. was you followed. Yep. Thank you. You did an 88-page analysis of this decision on this property. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, I couldn't speak about the amount of pages of that analysis, but, but, but there was an analysis. A deep analysis was done. Is that correct? An analysis, I couldn't qualify the analysis, but definitely there was an analysis that actually Perfect. met all the criteria and the process. Perfect. You, you visited 21 properties. Uh, uh, is that correct? And the value of those properties ranged from $8 million to $21 million. Is that correct, roughly speaking? You looked at 21 properties. Yes, we actually work with uh, a real agent, uh, real agents, um, uh, to actually visit twenty-one properties. Absolutely, you selected the property that was on close to the lowest uh, uh, cost. Is that correct, Mr. Chair? It was In among the it was among the lowest costs. Exactly. You saved taxpayers three roughly three million dollars or renovations of the old property. Correct. Mr. Chair, indeed, like uh, the fact that we're actually purchasing a new residence will prevent the actual investment for the of the renovation that was required. You're saving taxpayers 50% on monthly costs. Is that correct with the new uh, property? Mr. Chair, absolutely, that is correct. And I just want to clarify that it's cheaper because we will be tax exempt uh, thanks to the Vienna Convention. So you won't be paying taxes on this new property. You were paying taxes on the old one. So that's saving money for the taxpayer. Over the life cycle costs, you're, you mentioned about 150, 15,000 annual savings, which over, let's say, 50 years owning this building, that's going to be about $5 million in just monthly costs, savings uh, to Canadian taxpayers. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, absolutely. It is 115,000, which is half of the expenditure we've done annually uh, for uh, the previous uh, apartment. Thank you. So over the life cycle, that right there is about $5 million saving for the Canadian taxpayer. Now, after selling the old apartment, the Canadian taxpayer is actually going to be about $4 million ahead uh, in terms of uh, costs on this. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, absolutely. Like the, if we compare the sale of the current condo versus the Perfect. next condo, we'll be presenting roughly a $4 million uh, saving. Perfect. And now the new uh, apartment is accessible, whereas the old apartment was not accessible. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, there's a lot of new uh, things that are positive in this new condo, but and accessibility is one of them. Wonderful. And in addition to all of these things, there's a value add. You're going to actually be able to host meetings at this new apartment, and you host about 50 meetings per year, and you're going to be able to host that as this new apartment, which you were not able to do at the old apartment. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, um, this is correct. Okay, so what we have here is we have a better apartment, we have an upgraded apartment, we have more functionality, it is cheaper, and it saves Canadians taxpayers. The conservative plan, the conservative plan costs more, less accessible, less functionality, less effective, which basically describes the conservative party in a nutshell uh, right there. And so this is, to me, this is, this is incroyable. Uh, and, and so, and I look at the fact in my community, so you're talking about a trillion dollar uh, trade partnership between Canada and the United States. One third, it's a trillion dollar uh, uh, partnership. One third of that trade goes through my community. So I care about, I care about making sure that we have uh, the best uh, a consul general and we have the best folks in place and we have the best resources in place and the conservatives are talking about downgrading downgrading the canada u.s partnership and our ability to play hardball and hardball is what we're doing because it's a trillion dollar investment and i look at what the liberal government has done to negotiate a nafta trade that was for our benefit that helped our steel industry that helped our auto industry and you darn right 
that we want to upgrade our resources there, not downgrade our resources, which is what the conservatives have done. And it's exactly their playbook, what they did to the Canadian military as well. When they were in government, they downgraded investment in our military. Now they want to downgrade investment in our most important trade relationship with our, with our U.S. partnership. That's a shame. And so, again, and that, I, that I is our time, Mr. Kuzmirchuk. Uh, we are going to take... Just before the break, you actually lied to committee. And you did it for partisan purposes. You did it so that Justin Trudeau and his buddy Tom Clark would look good. Point of order, Mr. Chair. We just had this Your conversation. department... It is a point um, of order. Sorry, it's, it's not. Can you continue, uh, Mrs. Yes. Block? Point Your order, department. Is the language being used, Mr. Chair. The language is not respective of our witness. You do not have the floor, Mr. Longfield. You've been an MP long enough to know that if you wish to interrupt, you order, call Chair, a point of order. You've been an MP long enough to know what a point of order is. <laughs> oh, my and goodness. you should perhaps follow committee rules. And if you can continue like that, I will not recognize you, Mr. Lawfield. Longfield, but I take your point, but that is not a valid point of order. Can, please allow Mrs. Block to continue. I'm sure she'll get to her point. Rarely do I cut to the chase as I just have done. But your department sent this committee a letter which stated that 50 events were held at the Consul General's residence over the past two years, not 50 events in one year. So that's two events, that's one event every two weeks. As a result of the information that you've given us, I would like for you to table with this committee a list of those events, together with the purpose of the events, the number of, of attendees, and now, because of this contrary information that you've provided for us today, I would like the dates of all those events included. Chair, I, um, Mr. Chair, I'd like to clarify um, what's in the opening remarks that was provided was indeed two years. I might have misunderstood during the fast pace uh, talking that was going on what was mentioned, so it is truly two years. And I'd like to add that as public service, we're here to uh, represent the great work that we're doing, and I take exception on uh, when we're being accused of being liars. We're there to the be there for yeah. value for money right. and to go, do good, uh, good stewardship and to provide Canadians what's best for them. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cousineau. I, ex I accept your explanation that uh, you were caught off guard like the rest of us were in the midst of the rant uh, prior to the break. Uh, Mr. Irek also accused the Conservatives of wanting to downsize when, in fact, this is the argument that yourself and the officials have made for, as one of the reasons for, for why this is, is such a, uh, an acceptable place for the new consul, the consul General to be moving to. So which is it? What's the official government line? Is it because it's a smaller residence and you want to downsize that, that you're pursuing this, uh, this residence, or is it, is it something else? Mr. Uh, Chair, point of order, as Mr. 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 Chair, point, point of order, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Mr. Kuzmirchuk. Yes, I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, it's not a point of order. It's not a point of order. I'm sorry. That's not a point of order. Yeah. The word Come is on. downgrade. Let's colleagues, order. please, one person Bro. at a time, allow Mr. Kuzmirchuk to do his point of order, then I will yeah, Mr. decide. Could you just start again, Mr. Kuzmirchuk? Yes. Respectfully, Mr. Chair, I said I used the word downgrade uh, that uh, the Conservatives... Okay, that is not a point of order. Downgrade. We will continue. Go ahead, uh, Mrs. Block. So can you just reiterate for us, is in fact uh, one of the reasons that this is uh, a more acceptable location it, that you have made is that it's a smaller residence than the one that the Consul General is currently residing in? Mr. Chair, I'm going to go back to my opening remarks. We actually have made decision on multiple factor. One of them is the net present value that it was bringing. The second one was around like the uh, meeting all the future needs, um, value for money for Canadians. Um, and while it, we are downsizing, it was not the main factor. All right, thank you very much. Uh, in the letter that we received uh, from Ms. McArdle, she also um, 
cited that there were other issues raised about the suitability of the current residents. These issues included lack of proper division of family and representational spaces and restrictions on events that were imposed by the cooperative board. What are the rules for the new condo? Did, did you ensure that you would be allowed to bring in uh, large groups of strangers for events at this exclusive condo building? Mr. Chair, I welcome the question. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, with the co-op uh, model that exists, there was a lot of restriction that we had to face, which was very challenges. Uh, we do uh, know that in the new location that we're going to go, there's going to be more flexibility, making us more agile for those representation. So did you confirm if there were any rules in regards to the types of events that you hope to hold in the new residence? Mr. Chair, I would respond to uh, the current situation with the co-op and the restriction that we have, which would not be applied uh, like the way it is with the current co-op environment we're in, in the new condo. So we are expecting more flexibility for sure. Are there any rules that you are aware of? Mr. Chair, I would actually turn to my colleague who have been working very closely on the purchase of the uh, condo okay. about the specific roles because I don't have those details. And who would that be? Thank you. Oh, that would be me. Thank you. Um, we have taken into account the ability to perform the duties uh, that, that, or the requirements of the program before purchasing the, uh, the unit. Um, I haven't read myself the condominium convention that exists at the building there, but I know that uh, the, uh, the, that the unit was selected because it is um, possible and convenient to organize the events uh, according to the program need. It might state in that convention. I'm not aware of any restriction that may exist in the new condo with regard to, um, typically there will be restrictions in terms of security and access, but other than that, I'm not um, aware of any other restriction. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Atwin.